when the tsunami alert sounds, everyone sprints for higher ground. Police abandon their cars. Rescue workers rush people to safety. One man shouts at us, it's your life, run. Everyone does, including us, running far higher than any tsunami could ever reach. Not surprising when you see what the last tsunami did. This was the town of Minamisandiku. There's little left. Houses, shops and offices reduced to mangled rubble. The loss of life here thought to be among the worst along the east coast of Japan. At this point, officials have no idea how many people exactly died in just this one town. There were 18,000 residents here. Some of those residents that did survive the tsunami say that they ran when they heard the warning, but some of their neighbours didn't. Choshin Takahashi was working as a civil servant in an office near the water. He says the earthquake knocked him off his feet, then came the tsunami warning. He tells me most people ran away, but some had to leave the elderly or disabled behind on the second floor. I think a lot of those left behind probably died. This woman says, I saw the bottom of the sea when the tidal wave withdrew and houses and people were being washed away. I couldn't watch anymore. This resident tells us there was no time to think about anything. The tsunami just came too quickly. Local reports say more than 40 people were found alive Sunday morning. Ambulances rushing the injured out of the disaster zone. Elsewhere, the elderly are carried out to be evacuated by helicopter. This boat was carried more than three kilometers or two miles to the edge of town. The tsunami sped little in its path. Memories of life before the wave litter the sodden ground. Residents start the seemingly impossible task of clearing up. This is still a search and rescue operation for now. Emergency teams know that window of survival is closing. Paula Hancock's CNN, Minamisandiku, Northeast Japan.